Hi, uh, my name is Matthew and I'm going to be presenting to you today our third tab uh, of our Autopsych app, which is called the Fixed Anchor Test Equating Tab. <clears throat> so imagine uh, you have a group of grade three students and a group of grade four students, and you'd like to uh, give them scores on a single scale. Obviously, the grade, <clears throat> excuse me, the grade three students would have a generally a lower level of overall ability and the grade four students uh, may have a little bit uh, higher level of ability. So in this case, uh, what we can do is administer two test forms, one to the group A or grade three and another to, to the grade four students. And to uh, do this effectively uh, and to provide students with all students of a single grade on one scale, we can carry up a uh, procedure called fixed anchor equating. So <clears throat> this here is test form A, we can say for the grade three students, and there are 40 dichotomous questions. And we might say that there are maybe 500 students in uh, grade three, test form A. You can see the green items here. Uh, they are the link items that are common between both tests. Uh, <clears throat> here we have uh, test form B for grade four students, and you can also see the link items here. Uh, they are the same questions that were administered to both groups of students. Uh, obviously, uh, just like in the uh, first tab, you need to check that all questions have some variance. Uh, if all students get those questions correct, then uh, they should be, those items should be removed, but those items become redundant. Similarly, if all students get the items uh, incorrect, uh, those items are also redundant and should be removed. Now, <clears throat> just a quick note on the link items themselves. This is a, uh, a massive field of research actually, and, and uh, a very important one, but fundamentally those link items should function well in both tests both test forms uh, and they should not be biased to any uh, demographic group. And also those link items should, uh, in so far as possible, uh, represent a broad range of, of uh, item difficulty. Um, <clears throat> this is a, a large field and you can look up, look up uh, that yourself. Anyway, so we know the structure of this uh, these two forms, these two tests, they have a, a 10 common link items, 40 total questions. So let's go to our app and run the first procedure on those, on those data. Our first one would be on uh, test form A. We would run that, we'll call it grade three. Uh, three here. Standard settings, producer report. So we're running the regular uh, first tab on this data first to produce the Excel output. And we're gonna use that Excel output in the following uh, procedure in the third tab. <clears throat> so this should uh, produce a result. Okay, fantastic. Uh, now we could relabel this as test form A tables. Okay, we're relabeling that as test form A tables. 
Uh, next, we would carry out the next procedure on test form B. On the different group of students, we need to be really careful that we label the linked items in exactly the same way uh, <clears throat> so that the software recognizes the linked items automatically. Okay, so we run through the same process and we relabel. Uh, that output there as test form B or form B MML tables. Okay. We then jump to the equating tab and we upload test form A tables. Oh, my bad. Test form A tables. And test form B tables. <clears throat> now, the focal group here is the second group because this is what the output will be uh, for, it's for the second group of students and their scores. Uh, the uh, logit scores will have already been produced for the first group of students. So, we're fixing this, this first group of students, we're fixing their uh, scores and fixing the items. But here, uh, for this group, we are fixing the difficulty of the items and allowing the students' logic scores to flow. And uh, what will happen is these students will get uh, logic scores, which are generally a little bit lower, and these students will get logic scores, which will be generally a little bit higher. Uh, because these students have a higher ability and perform better uh, on those link items. So let's uh, move to the construct. So the construct is math again. Grade four students. And carry out the procedure. Seems to be quite quick, which is good. And we have results. These results are for grade uh, four students. We can see each case in order and we can see the student's total score and the logit score. Okay and some other outputs as well. Uh, we have the result of the equating procedure for the dichotomous, uh, two dichotomous uh, test forms. We can see the methodology here. Uh, here's the formula that is applied. Uh, here's the result uh, for the stability of the uh, item difficulty estimates across both test forms. They look quite good. You get an equating error, uh, which is calculated automatically, and you also get a graph. This is the student performance in test, uh, test form A, grade three. This is the student performance in test form B. Uh, you can read the methodology and you can take a look at our paper, which is available for free uh, at that website there. I hope that this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thank you and all the best.